Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to welcome you to another edition of NXT. We're coming to you from Orlando, Florida like always for NXT here tonight. And folks, we're going to kick the night off with the Bruiserweight, the former Cruiserweight Champion, Pete Dunne. If you all missed NXT last week, Pete Dunne viciously attacked the Velveteen Dream backstage. I am not sure why. Pete Dunne chose to go after the Velveteen Dream. The Velveteen Dream had did nothing to Pete Dunne. Pete Dunne just randomly attacked him. Pete Dunne is set to address the WWE Universe. Here tonight to kick off NXT. May I remind you all that NXT's first ever takeover event, NXT TakeOver in your house, will be in two weeks time. I still cannot believe what Pete Dunne did to Velveteen Dream last week. Pete Dunne is perhaps the best cruiserweight champion this universe mode has ever seen. But Pete Dunne has picked up a microphone. Let's see what he has to say. Everyone shut up and listen to what the bruiserweight has to say. When I am talking, you shut up. Now I am out here tonight to address my attack on the Velveteen Dream last week. You see, folks, I do not like the Velveteen Dream at all. I cannot stand him. I feel like he doesn't belong here on NXT. So that is why I decided to attack him last week, and I decided to take him out. The Velveteen Dream is not on my level, and he never will be on my level. NXT will be a much better place without the Velveteen Dream. I am the Bruiserweight. I do whatever I want. Whenever I want, I do not play around here in NXT. And when I get done with the Velveteen Dream, you will never see or hear from him again. And I just heard some cheers, so I'm assuming you all want him gone too. And I can't say I blame you. And at this time, I would like for the Velveteen Dream to come out here. It looks like Pete Dunn is about to get some company inside of that ring. As here comes the man he attacked last week, the Velveteen Dream. And there is the Velveteen Dream right there. I am 100% sure he has not forgotten what Pete Dunne did to him on last week. Velveteen Dream enters the ring now. Folks, look at this stare down. Between the Velveteen Dream and Pete Dunne. Velveteen Dream picks up a microphone. Let's see what the Velveteen Dream has to say. Pete, shut up. I didn't come out here to talk. You're doing all the talking. I came out here to throw fists. So if you don't want to throw fists, I suggest... You exit the ring right now. What did you come out here for? To say how good you are in the ring or how strong you are. But the thing about it is, I am better than you, Velveteen. And I will prove that in a matchup with you. But just not tonight. You know, I am getting sick and tired of you, Pete Dunne. You attacked me last week. I don't even know why. But here's the thing. If you want to match with me... Then let's throw down an NXT TakeOver in your house in two weeks. And I guarantee you, I will come out with the victory once that match happens. Now, do you accept my challenge? Man, look. We can have the match at NXT TakeOver in your house in two weeks. But how about this? Let's make that match a no disqualification match. All right. Me versus you, no disqualification match, NXT TakeOver in your house. I will beat you in two weeks. Fair enough. Fine. If a no disqualification match is what you request, then the match will be a no disqualification match. Pete Dunn, 
at any attack of in your house in two weeks, I will get my revenge on you for attacking me backstage last week. And I will prove to the world that I belong here, here on NXT. And you are going down, Mr. Bruiserweight. I'm going down to NXT TakeOver. Well, we'll see about that. Oh, and Pete Dunne attacking the Velveteen Dream. Look at Pete Dunne. Snap suplex to the Velveteen Dream. Folks, I can now confirm that an NXT TakeOver in your house in two weeks. Pete Dunne will do battle with the Velveteen Dream in a no disqualification match. Snake Eyes by Pete Dunne. There's a counter by Velveteen Dream. Now Velveteen Dream unloading on Pete Dunne. Oh, what a knee by Velveteen. Axe on the right to the back. Kick by Velveteen. Wait a minute, that was countered by Pete Dunne. Pete Dunne went for a four and that was countered. Backbreaker by Velveteen. Arm drag by Pete Dunne. There's a kick. Uh, Pete Dunne. Power bomb to Velveteen Dream. And there's a wicked clothesline. Folks, what's going to happen when these two meet one-on-one -on -one at NXT TakeOver in your house in two weeks? Ladies and gentlemen, we're back live tonight on NXT as it is time for some Cruiserweight action as here comes the Cruiserweight Champion, Mustafa Ali. And there he is at NXT TakeOver in your house. In two weeks, he defends that title against the one and only Ricochet. Tonight, Mustafa Ali is set to do battle against gentleman Jack Gallagher. This should be a great match here tonight on NXT. Well, folks, I cannot wait for Mustafa Ali's match against Ricochet. That just might be match of the night at any stick up in your house. Two of the best cruiserweights we have here on NXT going at it for the title. But here comes Mustafa Ali's opponent tonight. Gentleman Jack Gallagher. And his opponent from Manchester, England, weighing in at 167 pounds. Gentleman Jack Gallagher. Gentleman Jack Gallagher is indeed a great wrestler, but he kind of fell off some years ago. He almost became cruiserweight champion. But after that, he hasn't had much success. But tonight, he goes one-on-one -on -one with the Cruiserweight Champion. If he can possibly knock out the champion, that would be a great momentum boost for him. That could possibly put him in line for a future title opportunity. Fans in attendance tonight chanting NXT. Referee rings the bell and we're underway. I'll even for a strike that was countered. And there's an uppercut by Gentleman Jack Gallagher. Kick to the back. Ali got out of the way. Now Ali. Oh man, face first goes Gallagher. There's a kick by Gallagher. Now Gallagher. Northern Light Suplex. Shoulders down. That's two. Kick out of two by Mustafa Ali. There's a kind of Ali. And Ali with a form into the corner. Now Ali to the top rope. Frog splash right to the back.
Ali off the ropes. Enziguri. What a strike by Ali. Countered by Gallagher. Crucifix. Shoulders down on Ali. Is that going to be enough? No. Kick out of two. Another near fall for Gallagher. And there's a counter by Ali. And Ali with a neck breaker. Now Ali picks up Gallagher. Snake eyes into the corner. And there's a kick by Ali. Now Ali power bomb. No, there's a counter by Gallagher. Look at this roll up. Shoulders down here. That's two. Oh, but a counter. Shoulders down to Gallagher. Gallagher has to kick out of two. Oh, man. Gallagher just stopped Ali dead in his tracks. And there's another Northern Light suplex. Gentleman Jack Gallagher going to the top rope. But Ali back up and Ali with a kick. Gentleman Jack Gallagher does not want to be there. Mustafa Ali. Spanish fly. Into the cover. Is that going to be enough to put away Gallagher? No. Gallagher kicks out of two. A near fall for Mustafa Ali. Oh, what a face buster by Ali. And Ali with a drop kick. Went for a kick that was countered. Counter by Ali. Counter by Gallagher. And Gallagher went for the head, but he missed. And Ali takes advantage. And there's a forearm by Gallagher. And Gallagher hits the head, but this time. Answer the cover. Is that going to be enough to beat Mustafa Ali? No, Ali gets the shoulder up at the count of two. Now Gallagher going to argue with the official. There's a kick by Ali. Formed by Gallagher. Irish whip. Clothesline from the back. There's an arm drag by Ali. And Ali with a wicked super kick. Now Ali going to the apron. Ali calling up gentleman Jack Gallagher. Ali rolls in the ring. Neck breaker. Into the cover. Is that neck breaker gonna be enough? No. Gallagher kicks out. Now it's Ali who's arguing with the official. Now Ali has that arm. But look at gentleman Jack Gallagher fighting back with some punches. I don't know what a maneuver by Gallagher. Now Gallagher to the top rope. Oh man! What a maneuver! Is that going to be enough? That's two? Kick out of two. That maneuver was very beautiful by gentleman Jack Gallagher, I'll tell you that. There's a kick by Ali. There's another strike. Elbow. Gallagher stunned against the ropes. Ali throws Gallagher to the outside of the ring. Ali off the ropes. Over the top rope, taking out Gallagher. Fans in attendance tonight saying this is awesome, and I agree. Ali leaping over the top rope, taking out Gallagher. Take one more look at that very impressive maneuver. The ref is at a count of two. Ali puts Gallagher back into the ring. What a form by Gallagher. And Gallagher with another headbutt. Into the cover. Is that headbutt gonna be enough? No. Another kick out by the Cruiserweight Champion.
What a kick by Ali. Irish whip. There's a form into the corner. Ali to the middle rope. Oh, man. Gallagher got his knees up. Irish whip. He turns Ali around. Irish whip to the opposite corner. And Gallagher connects that drop kick into the corner. Into the cover. One, two, three. No, a kick out. Ali survives. The champion still has some fight left in him. There's a kind of Ali. Now Ali with a kick. Ali has Gallagher in a power bomb position. And Ali with a power bomb. Leg drop by Ali. There's a counter. The referee out. And there's that drop kick into the corner. The ref needs to get back up to count the pin. One. Two. Three. No, a kick out. Maybe if the referee didn't get knocked down right there. Then maybe the match could possibly be over by now. But Ali was able to kick out. Oh, wait a minute. Inverted Frankensteiner. Now nah, Ali headed to the top rope. This could be the beginning of the end. Mustafa Ali with a reverse 450. That's two and that's three. Mustafa Ali gets the victory. This was a great match to kick off NXT here tonight, I tell you that. Gentleman Jack Gallagher brought the fight to the champion, but that wasn't enough to beat the champion. That move right there was very beautiful by Gentleman Jack Gallagher, I tell you that. But Ali was able to kick out of two. Well, folks, congrats to Mustafa Ali on getting the victory here tonight. He gained some momentum going into his Cruiserweight Championship match against Ricochet that will take place two weeks from now at NXT TakeOver in your house. Once again, congrats to Ali on getting the victory here tonight on NXT. There is Johnny Gargano right there, and it looks like he's going into the office of the general manager, Triple H. Triple H. I am hungry for championship gold. Is there any way possible I can get an opportunity at a championship here in NXT? Well, Johnny, there actually is. I'll give you the opportunity of a lifetime. Later on tonight, if you can defeat the North American champion EC3, then the match between him and Damian Priest will become a triple threat match at NXT TakeOver in your house. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, up next, the sassy southern bear, Lacey Evans, battles the NXT Women's Champion, the EST Bianca Belair. This should be a great match up next, here on NXT. Here comes the sassy southern bear, Lacey Evans. Last season, Lacey Evans was a part of the SmackDown roster. This season, she is on the NXT roster. She has a big opportunity tonight facing the NXT Women's Champion, Bianca Belair. Can Lacey Evans take advantage of this opportunity? Now, 
Most of Lacey Evans' matches here in Universe Mode are better than expected. But here comes the NXT Women's Champion, the EST, Bianca Belair. Bianca Belair would defend their NXT Women's Championship against Candice LeRae at NXT TakeOver in your house. That should be one heck of a match. That rivalry between Bianca and Candice will come to an end at TakeOver in your house. Bianca Belair and Candice LeRae have been going at it for some time here in Universe Mode. But can Bianca Belair walk out of TakeOver in your house as the NXT Women's Champion? We will find out in two weeks. But tonight, Bianca faces Lacey Evans. Fans standing NXT here tonight. The referee rings the bell and here we go. There's a kick by Bianca. These two women locking up. Lacey pushes Bianca. Oh man, what a knee by Lacey Evans. Is that going to be enough? That's two. Kick out of two by Bianca Belair. That was indeed a wicked knee. What a kind about Lacey. And there's a strike by Bianca and Lacey is down. Bianca to the middle rope. And Bianca went for a splash, but there was no water in the pool. Swing neck breaker by Lacey Evans. Oh man! Moonsault by Lacey Evans. That's two. Kick out of two by Bianca Belair. Maybe Bianca Belair underestimated Lacey Evans here. And just as I say that, Bianca Belair counters Lacey. There's a kick right to the back. Off the ropes. Frog splash. Is that frog splash going to be enough? No. Kick out of two by Lacey Evans. Kick to the back. Lacey got out of harm's way. Backslide here. That's two. Kick out of two by Bianca. What a strike. Lacey stunned against the ropes. There's a counter by Lacey. And Lacey with a form. And there's an elbow taking down Bianca. Lacey going to the top rope. Bianca kicks up. And Bianca with a kick. Oh, uh, folks, look at the power and strength of Bianca Belair. That's throwing Lacey Evans down to the ring. Into the cover. That's two. Kick out of two, but just barely by Lacey Evans. What an L by Lacey. On drag by Bianca. There's a kick. Oh, wait a minute. Lacey Evans with a counter. Shoulders down here. That's two. Oh, but Bianca has to kick out of two. Backbreaker by Lacey Evans. Now Lacey Evans headed to the top rope here. Lacey Evans, moonsault to Bianca, hooks the leg, is that moonsault going to be enough, no it's not, Bianca kicks out, another near fall for Lacey Evans, kick right to the back of the knee, and Bianca Belair takes down Lacey Evans, kick to the back. Bianca picks up Lacey, but Lacey gets down. There's a counter by Bianca. Now Bianca with a kick. Uh-oh. Down goes Lacey Evans. Is that going to be enough to beat Lacey Evans? No. Lacey Evans gets that shoulder up at two. So many near falls in this matchup so far. 
And there's a counter by Lacey. Oh, what a kick. And there's another kick by Lacey Evans. And Bianca Belair has to roll to the outside of the ring. The champion has to regroup. And these two ladies taunting at one another. And Bianca gets back in. Oh, what a strike by Lacey Evans. That dropped Bianca to a knee. Another strike. Kick by Bianca. There's a counter by Lacey. Uh, Lacey Evans has Bianca Belair. Dude Buster. That's two. Kick out of two by Bianca Belair. What a kick by Bianca. Irish whip. Right to the gut. And there's a knee. What a counter. Uh-oh. Lacey Evans has Bianca Belair. There's the woman's right. Hooks the leg. Is that going to be enough to beat Bianca Belair? No. Bianca Belair survives. Lacey Evans can't believe it. That was Lacey Evans' best shot. But Bianca kicked out. Oh, what a strike by Bianca. Power slam by Bianca. There's a kick by Lacey. Back suplex. Kick right to the back of the knee. Oh, uh, Bianca Belair perhaps was going for the KOD. And down goes Bianca. Boy, look at Lacey Evans here. She has Bianca again. There's the woman's right for the second time in this match. Into the cover. That's two, three. No, Bianca kicked out. Bianca Belair got her shoulder up at two somehow. Kick to the back of the knee. There's a back suplex by Bianca Belair. Now Bianca Belair headed to the top rope. Frog splash by Belair. Hooks the leg. That's two. Kick out of two by Lacey Evans. And Bianca Belair going to argue with the official. Counter by Lacey. Oh, look at Lacey Evans. What a Boston crab. Is Bianca Belair going to tap out? Can she reach the ropes? Or can she break the hole? Oh, wait a minute. Look at Bianca Belair. She broke the hole. And she kicks Lacey Evans off. And there's a shoulder tackle by Belair. There's a kick to the back of the knee. And down goes Bianca. Now look at Lacey Evans. Dude Buster again. Is that going to be enough to beat Bianca? No, Bianca survives it too. Oh, uh, she was perhaps going for the woman's right. But wait a minute. Bianca Belair has Lacey Evans. There's the KOD. Into the cover. That's two. And that's three. Bianca Belair gets the victory. But what a match here tonight. What a great match between Lacey Evans and Bianca Belair. Here now on NXT. Lacey Evans brought a fight tonight, I tell you that. Bianca Belair had to earn this victory tonight. Lacey Evans really impressed me tonight. And I'm 100% sure she impressed everyone in this building and everyone watching around the world. So many near falls in this matchup. Here is your winner, Bianca Belair. 
Well, folks, congrats to Bianca Belair on getting the victory here tonight on NXT. She gains momentum going into her NXT Women's Championship match against Candice LeRae at NXT TakeOver in your house. But, man, what a war here tonight. What a back-and-forth battle between Lacey Evans and Bianca. Well, once again, congrats to Bianca on getting the victory here tonight on NXT. There's Tony Storm. She has a microphone. Let's see what Tony Storm has to say. Ladies and gentlemen, I am out here tonight for one reason and one reason only. And that reason is to tell each and every one of y'all in the audience, backstage, and all over the world that it's Tony time. It is Tony time here on NXT. It is time for Tony Storm to get a shot at that NXT Women's Championship. I am tired of sitting back there each and every week being overlooked. I am tired of not being given opportunity. So I am going to take my opportunity now. I know Bianca Belair is scheduled to face Candice LeRae for the NXT Women's Championship at NXT TakeOver in your house. Now I respect that. But whoever wins that match and walks out of NXT TakeOver in your house as the NXT Women's Champion, I would like to challenge them in a one-on-one -on -one match for the NXT Women's Championship. It is my time to shine here on NXT. It is my time to be champion. It is my time to show the world what I can do. And if I have to go through each and every woman back there in that locker room, then I will do it. I will be NXT Women's Champion. Wait a minute. Could that be? We haven't seen her in like over two months. Is she here? Yes, she is. Here comes the nightmare, Rhea Ripley. And she's back with a new look, too. Last time we saw Rhea Ripley was in that NXT Women's Championship match with Bianca Belair. Bianca Belair would defeat Rhea Ripley that night. But Rhea Ripley has picked up a microphone. Let's see what the nightmare has to say. Tony, 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 it is so good to see you after I was gone for over two months. It feels good to be back here in the NXT ring. But I hear you want a shot at that NXT Women's Championship. But guess what? I do too. Oh, Rhea, you come back with a new look and think that you can cut line? But guess what? It's not going to happen. You're coming out here thinking you look good and all, thinking you look strong. But guess what? You're not. And if you want to fight, then we can do it right here, right now. Tony, Tony, Tony. Just chill. I shouldn't have to put up with the talent like you. You bring this company, you bring NXT down. That's why you've never been given the opportunity or anything. Now me, I've had one opportunity. But guess what I failed? So I'm here to get another opportunity. Rhea Ripley, if you want to get an opportunity at that NXT Women's Championship, then you're going to have to go through me to do it. You know, NXT TakeOver in your house is two weeks from now. And if you want to fight there in a number one contenders match for the championship, then we can do it at NXT TakeOver in your house. You know what? That sounds like a good idea to me. At NXT TakeOver in your house, let's fight in a one-on-one -on -one match. At NXT TakeOver in your house, you will feel my brutality. At NXT TakeOver in your house, I will beat you to become the number one contender to the NXT Women's Championship. Rhea Ripley, tonight was your lucky night. You decided to pick a fight with me, and you got it. But at NXT TakeOver in your house, you won't be so lucky. 
an innocent take up in your house, I would defeat you to become the number one contender to the NXT Women's Championship. See you at NXT TakeOver in your house. Well, folks, the match has been made official between Tony Storm and Rhea Ripley at NXT TakeOver in your house. That should be one heck of a match. Ladies and gentlemen, up next, the NXT North American Champion EC3 goes one on one with Johnny Gargano. And if Johnny Gargano wins, Johnny Gargano will be added to Damian Priest in EC3's match at TakeOver in your house. Here comes Johnny Wrestling, Johnny Gargano. Johnny Gargano told Triple H earlier tonight that he was hungry for championship gold. And Johnny Gargano has the opportunity to get a shot at the NXT North American Championship. He must first defeat the champion EC3. That is not going to be an easy task. But if any man can do it, it's Johnny Wrestling. Here comes the current North American Champion, EC3. And there he is, the top 1%. And his opponent weighing in at 231 pounds, the NXT North American Champion, EC3. EC3 would defend that North American Championship for the first time at NXT TakeOver in your house in two weeks. He would defend that championship against the Archer of Infamy, Damian Priest. But here's the thing. If Johnny Gargano beats EC3 tonight, then that match will become a triple threat match. So if Johnny Gargano wins, then at TakeOver in your house, it will be EC3 versus Damian Priest versus Johnny Gargano for the North American Championship. EC3 does not want that to happen. Coming from me, EC3 is mad that he has to face Johnny Gargano tonight. I believe that's why he was pacing back and forth on the outside of the ring. I would be mad too if I was him. Because if EC3 loses, then EC3 will only have a 33% chance of retaining a takeover in your house. Versus having a 50% chance in a one on one match against Damian Priest. EC3 won that championship about two months ago. He hasn't had a title defense yet, but he will have one at TakeOver in your house. Fans sending NXT tonight. Gargano. EC3. A lot on the line in this matchup, as this matchup is underway. Oh, what a punch by Gargano. These two men throwing strikes at one another here. There's a kick. Strike. A hard-hitting matchup already here. Elbow by Gargano. And Gargano, Michinoku driver. Is that going to be enough to beat EC3? No, EC3 kicks out. Over the top row goes Gargano. And EC3 looked to suplex him back into the ring, but that was unsuccessful. EC3 back up. And Gargano with a spear. Answer the cover. Is that going to be enough to beat EC3? No, EC3 kicks out of two. Now 
And there's an arm track by AC3. Oh man, what a driver by AC3. Oh man, what a knee. AC3 can be as dangerous as they come. Flapjack. Oh, what a counter by Gargano. Inverted Frankensteiner. And EC3 has to roll to the apron of the ring. Oh, what a strike by Gargano. And Gargano, one final beat. EC3's head has to be in pain after that. The ref is at a count of two. There's a kick by EC3. And into the barricade goes Johnny Gargano. And now sending Johnny Gargano up the ramp. The ref is at a count of four. Into the barricade goes Gargano. EC3 might be looking to win this match by count out. That would be a smart strategy. If EC3 would win this match by count out. And EC3 puts Gargano back into the ring. Down goes Gargano. EC3 is in full control here. He hooks the leg. Is that going to be enough? That's two. Kick out of two by Gargano. A look at disbelief on the face of the North American champion. There's a kick. Inverted Frankensteiner again. Elbow by EC3. There's a counter by Gargano. Oh, what a kick by Gargano. These two men locking up. EC3 pushed Gargano. And now EC3 with some chops. What a forearm by Gargano. And there's a drop kick taking out EC3. Oh, Gargano could be looking to finish this match. Super kick. Wait a minute. EC3 got out of the way. Now EC3 planning Johnny Gargano. Is it a cover? Is that going to be enough to beat Gargano? No, Gargano still has some fight left. EC3 arguing with this official. EC3 saying that should have been three. Frog splash by EC3. Is that going to be enough? That's two. Kick out of two by Johnny Gargano. There's a kick right to the back of the knee. And Gargano again with that inverted Frankensteiner. What a forearm. Uh, EC3 with a top one percenter. Into the cover. One, two, three. No, a kick out by Gargano. Gargano gets the shoulder up. What a forearm by Gargano. What a strike. These two men going back and forth. There's a strike by Gargano. Uh-oh. Heat wave. Hooks the leg. Is the heat wave going to be enough? No. EC3 kicks out at two. Now Gargano going to that corner. Could this be the beginning of the end? Super kick connects. Into the cover. One, two, three. No, EC3 kicks out of two. EC3 is still in this match. Went for a kick that was countered. There's a kick by EC3. Oh, look at this. Power bomb by EC3. Elbow right to the chest. Gagano back up. Enziguri.
Oh, what a strike by EC3. Punch. That back Gargano to the corner. Oh, what a clothesline there. Snapmare. Next snap by EC3. Look at EC3. Puts Gargano into the corner. Folks, Gargano is busted open. Oh, what a splash into the corner. Now EC3 gonna taunt. Oh, folks, this can't be good. EC3 with that knee lift. And there's a top one percenter. Into the cover. One, two, three. No, Gargano! Somehow got the shoulder up at two. EC3 has to have a chat with this official. Gargano kicks up. EC3 does not want to turn around. Don't turn around, EC3. And he turns around anyway. And Gargano building momentum now. There's a kick by Gargano. Oh, look at this. Lawn dart. Is it a cover? Is the lawn dart gonna be enough? No, a kick out by EC3. A lot is at stake in this matchup. I mean, he's looking for a back suplex, but that was countered. And Gargano missed with that kick. And there's a huge knee by EC3. Fall away slam. Gargano rolling to the apron. Oh, wait a minute. Look at Gargano. Roll up here. Is this going to be enough? Oh, wait a minute. EC3 counters. He turns the tables. Look at Gargano kicks out. Oh, what a kick. And there's a punch by EC3. Elbow by Gargano. Snap suplex. Into the cover here. That's two. Kick out of two. There's a stomp. Oh, Johnny Gargano. Did Gargano escape? Gargano escape. Is EC3 going to tap? Or perhaps he's going to pass out. Can he get to the ropes? Or perhaps break the hole? Oh, man. EC3 might be on the verge of tapping out here. Oh, wait a minute. EC3 breaks the hole. Oh, man. That could be enough. That's two. Kick out of two by Gargano. There's a kick by EC3. What a punch. Oh, what a throw into the corner. EC3 has that arm of Gargano. Look at Gargano fighting back here. Oh, what a kick by Gargano. Now Gargano going to the corner. Well, this could be the beginning of the end. There's a super kick. Is it a cover? Is that going to be enough to beat EC3? Yes, it is. Johnny Gargano gets the victory here tonight. Folks, what a match. Johnny Gargano did it, folks. So now at NXT TakeOver in your house, it's going to be a triple threat match for the North American Championship. EC3 versus Damian Priest versus Johnny Gargano. What a match that's going to be. Congrats to Johnny Wrestling on getting that opportunity at the North American Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, up next is our main event as Robert Roode battles the Bruiserweight. 
Pete Dunne, this should be one heck of a match. Up next, here in the main event of NXT. Main event time here tonight on the black and gold brand. As here comes the glorious Robert Roode. This should be a great main event here tonight on NXT as Rude is scheduled to face Pete Dunne. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Weighing in at 235 pounds. The Glorious Robert Rude. At NXT TakeOver in your house in two weeks. Rude will go one on one with the NXT Champion Tommaso Ciampa for the NXT Championship. Rude was able to defeat Tommaso Ciampa a few weeks ago here on NXT. Rude did hold the NXT Championship some years ago. He looks to become NXT Champion again at TakeOver In Your House. I must say this since the Money in the Bank pay-per-view is coming up. Rude is a former Money in the Bank winner here in Universe Mode in Season 2. Also a former WWE Champion. And a United States Champion. Rude has had a lot of success here in Universe Mode. But will he be able to defeat Pete Dunne in our main event? Here comes the Bruiserweight. The former Cruiserweight Champion, Pete Dunne. And his opponent from Birmingham, England. Weighing in at 205 pounds. The Bruiserweight, Pete Dunne. Earlier tonight, Pete Dunne was on the microphone and Velveteen Dream came out. Pete Dunne attacked Velveteen Dream last week, by the way. And now they have a match that will take place at TakeOver in your house. But not just any match. Their match will be a no disqualification match. I believe Pete Dunne may have bitten off more than he can chew. He attacked Velveteen Dream last week for no reason at all. And Velveteen Dream did not take that lightly. Pete Dunne and Velveteen Dream brawled earlier tonight as well. Fans in the NXT here tonight. Riffer rings the bell and here we go. There's an arm drag by Rude. Kick by Dunne. Done with a backbreaker. Kick to the back. There's a kind of a root. And root with a power slam. Hooks both legs here. That's two. Kick out of two by Dunn. Kick to the back. Dunn is out of harm's way. Now Dunn with a roll up here. That's two. Root able to kick out of two. There's a kick by Root. Now Root taking a lot of time here. And Pete Dunn counters whatever Root was going for. And he just kicked Root in the face. Irish whip. Look at the strength of Pete Dunn. Oh man, double knees right to the gut. Into the cover. Is that going to be enough to put away Rude? No, Rude. Able to kick out of two. Oh, what a knee by Rude. Now Rude with a kick. Neck breaker. There's a knee by Rude.
Going for a kick. That was kind of near the clothesline. Another four on my root. Now root has Pete done up. There's a flapjack. What a strike. These two men locking up. Dunn pushes away Rude. There's a kick by Dunn. Now Dunn. Oh, what a power bomb. There's a counter by Rude. And Rude with a spear. Is it a cover? Is that going to be enough to put away Dunn? No, Dunn. Able to get the shoulder up at the counter, too. Going for a kick that was countered. Now done with a kick. Oh, uh, this ain't good. X-Plex by Dunn. Hooks the leg. Is that going to be enough to put away Rude? No, Rude kicks out at two. A look of disbelief on the face of the bruiser weight. There's a kick right to the back of the knee. And there's a neck breaker by Rude. What a strike. There's a counter by Dunn. Now Root with a kick. A uh, Root was perhaps going for the glorious DDT. But that was countered by Dunn. Now Root rolls to the apron of the ring. Oh, what a strike. And Dunn with a DDT. Now Dunn picks up Root. There's an enziguri. There's a kick by Root. Look at Root with a flapjack. Now Root to the top rope here. Oh, they want a splash. Hooks both legs. Is that going to be enough? No, a kick out. By Pete Dunn. There's a counter by Dunn. Now Dunn with a strike. Uh oh. Pete Dunn with the bitter end. Answer that cover. One, two, three. No, a kick out. A kick out by Rue. Rue able to kick out at two. Oh, what a knee. Now, Brew with a spine buster. Is that going to be enough? That's two. Kick out of two by Pete Dunn. A near fall for Rue. What a strike. That's a forearm by Dunn. Knee by Rue. Rue with a kick. Uh oh. Glorious DDT. Into the cover. That's two. Oh, but done. Kicks out of two. A near fall for Rue. Oh, now look at Rue here. Boston Crab. What's Pete Dunn going to do? Is Pete Dunn going to tap out? Can he crawl to the ropes? Will we break the hole? And Dunn breaks the hole. German suplex by Dunn. There's a form. And there's a suplex. Irish whip. Oh man, Dunn gets out of harm's way. There's a kick. And Pete Dunn executes the X-Plex. Is that going to be enough? That's two. Kick out of two by Rude. What a form by Rude. Now Rude has a hold of Dunn. What's Dunn in the corner? There's a kind of a Dunn. Now done. 
Oh man, just got that arm of root. That's a counter. Now look at root here. Perfect plex. Is that gonna be enough? That's two. Kick out of two by Pete Dunn. Folks, what a matchup here tonight in the main event of NXT. There's a forearm by Dunn. Now Dunn with a back suplex, but wait a minute, there's a counter by Rude. Yeah, folks, Pete Dunn is busted open here. There's a kick by Rude. Now look at Rude here with that pump handle slam. One, two, three. No, a kick out. Pete Dunn survived. Rude cannot believe it. Now Root going to the middle rope. Oh man, nobody home. Root may have hurt his knee when he came down. And Pete Dunn with a strike. And Pete Dunn gonna take advantage here with the bitter end. One, two, three. No, a kick out. Root kicks out. Oh, this has been a fun match to watch here tonight. There's a counter by Rude. Elbow right to the chest. There's a drop to hold. And now Rude is busted open. There's a kick. And Pete Dunn. X-Plex. That's two. Kick out of two by Rude. Now Pete Dunn going to argue with the official. Back breaker by Dunn. Now Pete Dunn going to the middle rope here. Elbow drop, but nobody home. Back suplex by Root. Spine buster. Hooks the leg. Is that spine buster gonna be enough? No, a kick out of two by Pete Dunn. Another near fall for Robert Root. Power slam by Root. There's a counter by Dunn. There's a counter by Root. Now Root with a kick. And Root, glorious DDT to Dunn. Is that going to be enough to beat Pete Dunn? Yes, it is. Robert Root gets the victory here tonight. Folks, what a match. What a match here tonight in the main event of NXT. This was a hard-hitting matchup here tonight, I'll tell you that. So many near falls. So many amazing moves performed in this matchup. But Rude gets the victory. And Rude gains momentum. Going into his NXT Championship match against Tommaso Ciampa at NXT TakeOver in your house. Boy, I tell you, this was indeed a classic tonight. Wait, who is that? Well, that's Tommaso Ciampa. Tommaso Ciampa came in the ring. And he just locked in that guillotine. And folks, Rue might be out of it. There's a German suplex. Another German. And a third German suplex. Two Rue. These two will meet at NXT TakeOver in your house for the NXT Championship. Look at Tommaso Ciampa here. What a suplex to Rude. And there's a huge knee. 
another knee. Folks, we're out of time. This is Lieutenant Davis, number one saying good night, and I will see you all this Monday for Monday Night Raw.